Fair Use Welcome to another episode of Clarified Moments, where we hope to bring clear conscious thought, which is the ability to think rationally from a place of logic and reason versus emotion. To exercise critical thinking skills, criticize your own thoughts and remove warped views and perspectives that hinder common sense. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Just recently two popular comedians, Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears are involved in a controversy stemming from an online skit done nearly a decade ago. Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears are facing some very serious allegations. The controversy stems from a lawsuit alleging Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears sexually abused children during a comedy skit. Let's talk about why it really matters. To be fair, excluding guilt or innocence, their reps call it a shakedown. Why would this be a thing all of a sudden? And after over a decade? Of course victims can be traumatized over a lifetime and can take a considerable amount of time to come forward. But what seems to be very suspicious would be the timing. Now we know that some comedians would be considered shock jock comedians. One who would be brutally honest and certainly not politically correct. And for that very reason would or might say, what some would consider very offensive or hurtful things. They probably would go against the grain or status quo of catering to emotions and feelings in today's culture. So what is it that could have been said that motivated and or encouraged, figuratively speaking, target on their back? Could it have been, adamantly supporting behavior, that culture norms consider toxic today, but in the past was considered honorable? Or maybe it's referring to someone's appearance in a disparaging or discouraging way, and then doubling down on your position later. After being attacked for your views and refusing to conform to societal norms, which in today's world could be a career killer. We may never know if these are legitimate accusations. But what we do know, is that the accusation may not really be the real reason the accusation was made in the first place. In today's world, don't agree with someone, find them, their words or actions offensive. Don't like them, it's simple, just point them out and create a coordinated demand for retribution for their alleged transgressions, urge everyone to join in and add their voice and call it a movement. We must remember where there's no humility, there's no grace. And where there's no grace, there's no forgiveness. And where there's no forgiveness there's no restoration. And where there's no restoration, there's no hope for us all.